Adobe has just launched its AI art generative tool, Adobe Firefly. What this means is you and me can now create amazing artwork just within seconds with click of a button. In today's session, we'll be diving deeper into Adobe Firefly, how you can get access to it. What can you do with your beta version? Can you imagine all of these amazing features embedded into your Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, your InDesign, and much, much more. You can create all these stunning artworks even without being an artist. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into Adobe Firefly. Meet Adobe Firefly. All you have to do is just imagine. Once you type in the text, here are your images. And just like that, you pick your image, change the background, or add all the different elements you want. And all that happened in just click of a button. So here is all the exploring features that are coming up in Adobe Firefly. Can you imagine just taking a blank screen and just typing in underwater city? And just like that, you have created this beautiful underwater content aware inside your image. And all you have to do is take that image and create multiple variations of it. And here is your artwork. From your sketches, you can use this Adobe Firefly and create stunning artworks, logos for your companies. This could be a blessing for all those creators. Imagine all of this being embedded into your Premium Pro After Effects. I have wasted tons of money on all these elements. And with this Firefly, I can create stunning videos, stunning artwork. Trust me, if I was not a math educator, I would have been an artist. And this is how you change a background from a grass to a winter day, just like that. And can you imagine just having all of this inside your Premium Pro? You don't need any of those plugins. Now that we've seen what Adobe Firefly is, now let's go ahead and dive deeper into what it looks like. So here I'm on the better version of the Adobe Firefly. As you can see, once you log into the website, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can go ahead and request the access to the Firefly. And once you're in, I guess the wait time is one week, to 10 days. That's how long it took for mine. But once you're in, this is all the features that you have. And as you can see, all you have to do is type your text. So these are the tools that I can use, which is text to image and text effects feature. And as you can see, the recolor vectors is still coming up. And here are examples of what you can do with these beautiful images. If you hover over any image, it is going to give you the exact prompt that it has used. And it's going to it's also going to ask you to try to use this prompt. So let's go ahead and hover over this one. It says a dozen realistic chibi night owl standing next to each other. So that's very cool. And here, let me see, it says close up of a mystic cat. And let me scroll further down. What is this? This is a punk rock flamingo with a mohawk. How cool is that? So let me go ahead and let me click on this one. So this is a cute, fluffy blue ball animal running through a magical forest. So let me try and click on the prompt here. And once you're here, you can by default go ahead and edit the prompt. Let me go ahead and make it a cute fluffy blue ball dog. Instead of animal, let me specify a dog and let me click regenerate. And just like that, Adobe has created this beautiful running dog. Now let me change from blue to pink why not those images are so cute and as you can see i have this new cute fluffy pink dog running through magical forest trying to catch a firefly and if you scroll all the way to the right hand side you have an option to change your aspect ratio this is widescreen you can make it landscape and just like that it changes into landscape and you even have an option to make it a portrait, square. I'm going to make it square one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my God, these pictures are so cute. And you even have an option to change your content type to graphic, to an artwork. Oh, I'm just going to cry. These are so cute. And here you have an option to pick how your artwork should be. Maybe it is a neon color artwork or, you know, different options that you have. And if you scroll down, you see all these different composition layers for your artwork. 
And once you're done, all you have to do is click on the image that you want and you can simply download this image. And if I scroll down, can you imagine having all these beautiful, amazing artwork just with one click of a button? So let me click on one of them. And when you click on your options, here you have submit Firefly to gallery. Maybe you have created something outstanding and you may want to go ahead and submit this to the Adobe Firefly, Firefly gallery. You can do that. Or you want to go ahead and copy it to your clipboard, you can do that as well. But if you just want to download it like me, you will go ahead and click download. And here it says we are tagging Adobe Firefly. And I really want to mention that Adobe Firefly is very mindful of the copyright issues and the legalities because it wants to protect the artist's credentials. And every time you download something, it does come with the option saying that this artwork has been created by Adobe Firefly. So let's go back here. And as you can see, you have different options here, text to image, and you have all these cute or amazing artwork. All you have to do is hover over them and try the prompt. And if you look closer here, there is this little settings icon here, which talks about the credentials. Like I said, Adobe is very mindful about its content credentials. If you scroll down, it tells you how this image was created. It was created by Adobe Firefly, and this is when it was generated, and you even have an option to view more if you have to. And any image that you download automatically comes with a metadata telling you that that image has been created by Adobe Firefly. Now let's go ahead and generate something really cute. Let's see, what do I want to generate? I want to go ahead and I have a Labadoodle, so I'm going to go ahead and say, a uh, black, can you see that? Yeah, black labradoodle taking online math classes. Why not? And I'm going to click generate. Oh my God. Now you have an option. Okay, let me let me look at these pictures. These are so cute. I can never in a million years imagine creating something like this. I can never imagine. I always wanted to be an artist, but somehow math took over. Now you have an option to change from art to photo. So let me click on photos. It looks more realistic. Oh my God. So let me click on this one. And as you can see from artwork, just like that, it has changed into, into a picture. I do have a Labradoodle just exactly like this. I'll be putting up a picture, but this is how my dog would look when it's taking an online math class. Now, if you want to download it, all you have to do is click on download options here and you even have an option to show similar. So when I click on show similar, it's going to automatically regenerate more pictures. Here you have an option to change its aspect ratio. Here you have an option to change the different color tones and computation layers. Go ahead, enjoy this one. Now let me go back and delete this one. I always wanted to create an artwork with Indian temples and elephants and little girls in Indian dresses playing in front of it just to have something in, in the background of my house. And today I'm going to test Firefly to see if something like that happens. Indian colorful, colorful is the key, colorful. So here I went ahead and typed colorful Indian temples with elephants and Indian women and girls playing in the front. Now let's go ahead and test the Firefly. Wow, can you imagine having all of these features inside Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects or Photoshop. Can you imagine what you can do? What wonders you can do with all of this? Now, this is a photo. I wanted to have an artwork because I always wanted to be an artist, but I could not. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Firefly to see ugh, what this can do. Wow. I mean, seriously, just a prompt has created this amazing, beautiful Indian temples. Wow. This is so cool. I would definitely want to go ahead and download each and every one of them because I don't want to miss anything. And now let me go ahead and change the prompt to Indian temples 
with lots of architecture. Colorful Indian temples with lots of architecture, elephants of Indian women and girls playing in the front. Let me go ahead and click generate and see what happens. And if you look closer here, they have more details on how these structures have been designed. There's more architectural work, as you can see. Again, I love, 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 love all of these. These are so cute. I'll definitely download all of these. Now let's go ahead and try one more feature, which is, let me scroll all the way up. Can you imagine creating all of this without even being an artist? I mean, definitely it's not fair for all those creative artists, but oh my God, oh my God. So let me go all the way back here and now let me try text effects. Let's go ahead and see what I want to try today. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one. It says bundle of colorful electric wires. And all I have to do is type in my name. I'm just going to type in my last name, K-O-L-A. And here I have an option to sample the effects and how the text fits in. I don't want the text to have a little bit of spill. I want the text to be tight. And voila, just like that, my name is now a bundle of colorful electric wires. Now let me go back and because it's Easter, let me just type in Easter bunny artwork. Let's see what comes up. There you go. Instead of artwork, what if I make it a watercolor? And then click generate. Oh, this looks amazing. This looks so cute. And again, you have an option to download it. You have an option to rate it. Definitely. I just love this and it's going to give you all these options. I'm not going to go ahead and take a look at them right now, but that's my name with Easter Bunny watercolors. Now, let me go ahead and type Indian temples. Can you tell I've been fascinated by Indian architecture, Indian temples? And, and let me click generate. And there you go. Just like that. This could be a good way to have a beautiful artwork customized with your last name in your house or something like that because my mind is not stopping right now I'm, I'm just thinking how many creative ways i could be using this firefly and just generate all these amazing things now this is for the temples definitely i'm going to go ahead and download this one and now just because i'm hungry i am going to go ahead and make it into donuts how about that there I have my name with donuts and you can try all of these different sample effects here. You have tons of these effects. You can go ahead. Let me try instead of donuts. Let me try blue. Blue particles. And here I have just blue particles disintegrating. You can go ahead and try all of these. Here is color marble and just just explore. This is amazing. This is amazing. So that is Adobe Firefly for you. Again, I've been playing with this Firefly since morning and I still cannot get over it. Maybe if you're an educator like me, you may want to go ahead and use these amazing text effects or this text to images to create a beautiful classroom banner for your classes, typing in all the prompts that you do as a teacher. So again, this is Firefly for you. I will leave a link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learn how to go ahead and explore different features in Adobe Firefly. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know I will be sharing this and exploring this Adobe cool features right now. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself and never, ever stop exploring. Trust me, I'm not going to stop this. I'm going to keep enjoying exploring and I'm going to feel like I am an artist right now.